Hey, welcome back to Better PR Now. This is episode three. I recently caught up with Professor Dustin Supa of Boston University's College of Communication. He was presenting the findings from a pilot research project that explored the dude deficit in undergraduate public relations classroom. Why are so few young men choosing to major in public relations as opposed to related fields like marketing and journalism? Dustin's research points to an explanation and suggests some ways to address this issue. We're here at the International Public Relations Research Conference in Miami, Florida, and I'm joined by Professor Dustin Supa from Boston University. We're going to dive into a study that he presented here with his research partner, Eliza Moskowitz, who was a 2015 undergraduate alum of Boston University's public relations program. The title of the study was An Examination of Undergraduate Males' Reticence to Study Public Relations. Dustin, welcome. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's let's jump on this on this study because I think there's a lot of really interesting things to, to unpack out of it. So tell me about the study. What? How did you do it, and what did you find? Well, the study uh, originally uh, it came from the concept of you keep reading all these empirical, uh, non-empirical studies or or uh, anecdotal information, particularly in the, in a lot of the trade clubs about how we need more men in public relations. Why are we, we have so few men? And, you know, this kind of concept of the PR girl, right? Everybody has the picture in their mind when you use that. Um, and that's really become, at least at the entry level, the kind of dominant paradigm going in, right? So if you have a public relations entry level job open, you might have one male apply, but you might have 200 females apply. Um, and, you know, and your experience in the classroom? And is- the experience in the classroom is, is that, you know, when you go to class, if you, have, if you have more than one male in your class or more than, you know, depending on the size of the class, you're, you, you're impressed because you just don't see that very often. So that's why, that's why I wanted to kind of look at it and say, okay, maybe we should take an empirical look at this. Is there something there? Um, we know that 60% of students going to college uh, are... Uh, women, right? So, I mean, that's just the way it is, but that doesn't account for why 80% of or 90% of students in public relations seem to be or are female, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so there's there's the deficit, you know, the dude deficit, if you will. Um, and so what we did working with Liza um, is, um, you know, we, we, we did a lot of background research. And, and first of all, there's not really an issue with too many women in public relations. The issue is not enough men uh, in public relations, so that's you got to be kind of clear on that because women traditionally have not been in roles of, of leadership and stuff like that. I think that'll change over time, uh, just given our numbers right now. Uh, but we wanted to see if there were any systemic reasons why we were seeing not seeing them. So we looked at um, we did a study with 262 um, um, undergraduate males. Uh, and representing 62 institutions, so a, a fairly fairly broad spectrum, and wanted this to. This was not limited to Boston. No, no, this is a nationwide. In fact, somewhere I have a list of, of all the schools, and it's just, you know, there were Boston University students, and but there were and there were other you know Boston area schools, uh, but all across the country, right? So, uh, we uh, we wanted to see. Uh, we, and we wanted to find male undergraduate public relations majors, male undergraduate communication majors, not public relations. So maybe in advertising or journalism or, or um, you know, uh, even even to some degree marketing. And then uh, undergraduate males who were not in communication, not in public relations. So we kind of had our three groups um, set up. And what we found was that the, uh, the, the males who are undergraduate public relations majors really seemed to have a solid grasp of the field. They seemed to uh, kind of understand what public relations did. They understood the upward mobility. They understood the job uh, uh, openings you know, it, pretty well. So, I mean, the males who are doing public relations, they seem to get in it, and they seem to have a high opinion of the field. So um, the issue was not, so that immediately eliminated the issue of, you know, we don't think that they're being driven out of public relations because the ones who were in public relations really seem to like the field. So it's, it's not that they're leaving, they're just never coming in. The they're door. just never coming in. We did find that um, uh, the other communication majors, non-public uh, relations, um, also seem to have, not to, not to the same uh, degree, but also seem to have a pretty strong understanding of the public relations industry, had a fairly high perception, not as high as those in, in the field, but... Doesn't it uh, doesn't surprise didn't really surprise us that 
a journalism major uh, may not think highly, as highly of public relations as a public relations major. Uh, so again, not super surprising because they had some knowledge, but really the, the, the non-communication, non-public relations majors, the evaluation of the field uh, was su su significantly lower than those in the field, right? So um, they did not perceive public relations as something that they wanted to do. They did not perceive um, public, public relations as a, 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 a field that had financial stability. They basically looked at public relations uh, through the lens of shows like Scandal or Sex in the City or, um, you know, and so they saw public relations mostly as event planners, social media stuff, um, and, and just media relations. So they, they see the tactics of, of, of public relations and they're not interested in those tactics. Um, but one of the things that we found that was really interesting was that uh, most of the students who were in public relations came to it because um, uh, they had a prior exposure. So what we what and we what, what we, did you get any sense for what that what kind of what that prior exposure might usually have been? it was a family member really uh, or a family friend or somebody uh, that they knew uh, was in public relations and that's where most of the people said you know, yeah I was interested. Um, the other thing was or they found out after they had been a major another major. Right. I mean, the average undergraduate changes the major seven times, right? So, um, <laughs> eventually, the public relations may or may not have been one of them. One of the questions we had, have you ever been a public relations major? Right. Um, the non-communication majors, no, but some of the communication majors had been public relations at one point. So, right. some of them are leaving, but I don't think that's really one of the issues because right. they, they tend to move around a lot. Um, and some of them had been other majors before they were in public relations. But so, you know, they're finding out about public relations usually in a first communication class. Well, if a student comes in and doesn't take communication classes or doesn't take an intro level uh, communication class, they're probably not being exposed to public relations. Uh, and that's where, that's where when we, when, we, when we kind of started digging into it, it was like, why don't you want to be in public relations? And 70% of them never heard of it, right? Wow. So one of the things that, that we think you know, potentially could be a solution, could be not the solution, but a solution, um, is to see what we can do about increasing exposure and getting factual information out there, not just the cultural uh, perception of public relations, right. but factual information about public relations, because a lot of our students were in marketing, and marketing aligns perfectly with what I want to do. Well, oh, great, but there are enough elements of public relations that you shouldn't be saying I'm in marketing because it aligns perfectly with what I want to do and then strongly disagreeing about public relations aligns with what I want to do. Right? So there shouldn't, it, there may still be a discrepancy there, um, but it, there shouldn't be that much of a discrepancy. Right? Because obviously they're different fields, but they're not so entirely different that they should be at opposite ends of the spectrum. Um, so one of the things that we you know, we looked at it was is, is could we offer some exposure programs either at the high school level or stuff because most people are taking journalism in high school most people maybe even get some kind of principles of marketing or some business level type of course in high schools but there are no public relations uh, and uh, most of the fact and, and in fact one of the uh, uh, comments that I heard during our discussion was you know, teachers are uncomfortable teaching about public relations because they don't know what it is. I mean, we have a hard enough time defining our own field yes. to our friends and family, yes. but how do we then try to educate others on public relations is not just talking to the media, it's not just planning events, it's not these things, Here, but we need to be able to say, here's what it is. Um, and I think we, if, you know, that's obviously one of the, one of the solutions that we, we, we think might, might help start addressing. I don't think that we're ever going to have equality. Right, and yeah, we may be too far. We may be beyond the tipping point. I don't think we're ever going to have a 50-50 split, males versus females, but 80-20, uh, 90-10, that's not healthy for the field either. Right. So um, if you put on your, your prescriptive hat, mm. you look at uh, the academy and you look at the profession, the, the, the world of the professionals who are out practicing, mm. do you have recommendations for um, things that they could do uh, either – on the academic side or on the professional side to, to start to mitigate this, to, to make it, to make the profession more widely known and to make it more uh, attractive to a, um, to a truly diverse um, uh, audience of folks who are potential 
students and future practitioners or professionals? Yeah, no, I, th I think one of the things that, that all practitioners should do is uh, understand that they are in a field uh, that has a public relations problem. And what are they doing as an individual to help that situation, right? So I think if we, if we already, if we, if we can recognize that, hey, I'm in public relations, uh, public relations may not have the best you know, perception culturally or, or whatever. What can I do to change that, right? So could I, um, you know, go to, uh, you know, my kid's uh, career day, right? Could I offer to, you know, speak to a class of, of people or could I, you know, is my company involved with something that is a, a, a pro bono client or a charity uh, organization that deals with children? Is there something I can get in there and say, "Hey, here's what here's what we're helping with, and here's what we do," um, you know? And so it's not even a matter of doing stuff, you know, doing stuff that's so outlandish. Like you know, uh, I, I don't think that we should necessarily be uh, you know, trying to you know, weasel our way into high schools to to you know find people. But uh, you know, if if if, uh, if there's opportunity, taking those opportunities as they arise. Uh, to just recognize, okay, you know what, I'm in a situation where I have some, uh, you know, younger people or high school students or something, yeah, I'll take the 30 seconds to say, hey, here's what I do. Or if I'm out doing something, you know, yeah, what do you do? I'm in public relations. Well, maybe, maybe you add a sentence, right? And so instead of saying, what do you do? I'm in public relations. Maybe you add the sentence and say, you know, if somebody asks what do you do, I'm in public relations and here's what I do on a regular basis to help explain to people uh, what it is that you do. So I'm in public relations and I help uh, manage the relationship between these two organiz this organization and this group of people. Or I am involved with uh, promoting uh, the work that is done by this uh, uh, nonprofit organization or something like that. And I think that if we can just add that second sentence and not assume that people uh, people know what you do when you say I'm in public relations, I think even that starts starts the ball rolling in a simple way. So yeah. those, I think those are some simple steps. Brilliant. So anything else you'd like to add about, um, about the study or uh, next steps, either next steps on the research side or uh, next steps to address the issue? Well, I think, I think the important thing to recognize with this particular study is it's a pilot. It's totally a pilot, right? We, we didn't look at you know, comparing men and women, we didn't look at, you know, uh, we just wanted to, we just wanted to start seeing um, some empirical data. So what we hope to do, I think, is to take this pilot study and then uh, use that hopefully to get a grant or, or something uh, to help us understand why, uh, what are the bigger issues, right? So we have, we have 262 responses, that's great. Now, the, what, what happens when we get 5,000 responses? How, how, do we, how do we really start winnowing down? Are there scales? Are there things that we need to know that would make the difference? Um, so we're at a starting point. So what would your next questions be if, as you start to dive into this deeper? I think, was, I think what we want to do is uh, look at the factors that went into them deciding their other majors. What were those factors? And I think if we, if we can start seeing why people chose the major they're in, then um, we can start saying, okay, what can we now do about that? Uh, but we're going to need we're going to need bigger samples, and 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 there are existing you know scales that do that. Um, and but we're just going to come at it from from okay, how do we address this lack of diversity, right? And diversity obviously is an issue in public relations right. anyway. Right. But uh, diversity comes in in many uh, styles, right? And and if you know because we are primarily you know a female field. That doesn't make us diverse. That actually makes us less diverse, right? Or whether you know we, we do have a severe lack of African Americans, Hispanics uh, in public relations. If we were a hundred percent African Americans, we would not be diverse then either. Right. So right. We, we're looking at this from how do we make public relations truly a diverse field? Right. You have diversity when you when your profession or your group mirrors the same diversity. In the larger society, and we're not there. And we're not there. And one of the bigger challenges, though, I think, is not only mirror, mirroring the diversity in the in the society at large, but also 
uh, understanding that diversity is not necessarily a category you can see, but diversity is, true diversity means that eventually you have diversity of thought. And right. that's and that's really where we need to head towards. Right, totally agree. Thank you so much for this uh, opportunity Absolutely. to dive into this fun. topic. Thanks for joining us for this conversation about a topic that really is so important to our profession. I think Dustin really is on to something here, and I can't wait to hear what he finds out in the larger study. As public relations professionals, whether we're on the academic side, the practitioner side, or have a foot in both worlds, we all have a stake in this issue, and we can take action to make a difference right now. I'm going to take Dustin's advice to help more young people understand what public relations really is about. The more people understand our profession, the more it will be seen as a viable career choice for both men and women from every background. The diversity of perspectives is really important to the future of our profession. Will you join me in this effort? You know, I'd love to hear what you think about the podcast and any questions you'd like to have addressed. Give me a shout by clicking the orange Send Voicemail tab on the right side of every page on the BetterPRNow.com website. If you're enjoying the podcast and finding it useful, I'll be eternally grateful for an honest review on iTunes. Please also consider subscribing and sharing with friends who might also benefit from the podcast. Thanks for taking this journey with me as we improve public relations one conversation at a time. I'll catch you on the next episode.